Hi again guys, me here. Um, a few of you have asked for um, demonstrations of IE9. Um, what I'm going to do is obviously give you a quick demonstration. It's a little bit buggy, uh, obviously it's beta, so you've got to expect that, but um, it's not bad. But in all honesty, I have to say I still prefer Chrome. Um, but I'll show you anyway, so I'll just drop out of the uh, XOUI and I'll just load up IE. Um, so you come up with a blank screen. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure how to get it to go to this screen automatically, which is all your previous visited sites. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go on to the web browser, go to the forum. Okay, so I'm just going to go, where am I going to go? Um, let's just go to the community. And I'm just, I've already done a test and the video didn't quite work out uh, right. So I'm just going to go to this same thread. Dreamcat and Tim are not going to know what's going on. So I'm just going to write a new post. So basically, if you click into the box, it should pop up with the keyboard. Okay, it has now. But that pops up with a floating keyboard. Now you can actually pin that keyboard to, um, to the bottom of the screen. Like, oh, I did the top. Oops. Dock at the bottom. Okay, like that. Um, now the good thing about docking it is if you was off screen uh, and then you typed something, it would actually flick it back up in view and it would do that wherever it is on the screen, which is really good. There's, there's nothing worse than starting to type and then not knowing what you're typing. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of that. If I get rid of the actual keyboard itself, the next time I do that, it's floating again. So that's a little bit annoying, and I'm not sure how to sort that out, but I'm sure it's probably a tweak. But what I've done is I've pinned my tablet input um, icon to the start bar. So whenever I need it, um, I just click that, and then that brings up. And that is actually docked already. So for some reason, they seem different, and this one is constantly docked because I've asked it to be docked at the bottom. Um, now you can see there there's a bit of a transition. I don't know if this is a bug in IE, uh, in IE9, or whether or not it's supposed to be like this, but when you click on the input, what happens is it shrinks the screen um, up to the viewable space once you've got the keyboard on. You've got, you see there you've got the space for the keyboard, it's showing the desktop for it, and then the keyboard appears. So I'm not sure if that's a bug, like a bug in IE9, um, or what, to be to be honest. But that's what you know. That's how it happens. Maybe it will have a nicer transition when IE9 is finally released. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little post Okay. So just if this is another test, don't worry, there's no need to study. I don't know if any of you have seen that thread. Um, so once you've done, you can just get rid of the keyboard. If you click on the screen, once it's docked, it won't go away. But once if you did that and it's floating, it would go away. So you get rid of it with the X and just press Submit. You know how to do a post. Uh, so that's it. That's basically um, using IE 9. Um, on the forum, it threw me there. That white screen, I wasn't know, I didn't know what's going on. Okay, so you can see that scrolling is pretty good. Um, oh, I took my thing off the screen. You can get that where you, you you highlight it, but that's because I didn't have my finger on the screen properly. But if I do have my finger on the screen properly, you can see it's not bad. It's a little bit of lag, perhaps, but you know you can do the flick. And it will practically go the whole. I mean, it's a long page. It will practically go the long page. 
mean that went straight to the top so that's pretty good um, so I mean let's try something like I don't know what I've got on my saved tabs um, my website for example you can go on read the review um, let's go back to the home page um, what have we got here ok there's nothing good on there so I'm just going to go to um, YouTube get rid of that ok let's look up something to do with XOPC ok so it's, it's quite quick it's not bad um, as I say I do still prefer Google Chrome I think um, I do like the fact that the keyboard pops up when you click on uh, the address bar and all the text boxes in IE9 um, whereas it doesn't always in Chrome kind of hit and miss but um, you know it's still I think Chrome is still quicker than IE9 even um, obviously it doesn't have the support of oh, I don't think it has the support of HTML5 um, and all the, the rest of it but I don't know it works for now and it works good so I'm going to stick with Chrome for now I think so just view a video again with that transition period you get the previous screen like the home screen um, pop up uh, as it's as it's loaded a new page which is crazy it must be a bug in IE um, so you can see the video um, just get rid of that ad if I go full screen I've not done this yet so if I go full screen it's absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with it at all um, the video is still good we've got no sound that's probably because I've turned the volume down. Yeah, it's right down. Okay. Even that's very quiet. So if we come out full screen, uh, just turn the volume up. Whoops, I didn't want to work. I didn't want the clock. I'm at a weird angle here. Okay, so you turn that up. Start the video again. There you go, so you've got some video. As I say, it's even in full screen, it's very good, it's very quick. I don't think Chrome performs that well with YouTube and full screen. Um, if we go to something, if we go back to the uh, forum, if we look at the pinch and zoom, you can see um, you've got various different things showing up when you're zooming most of the time it's the previous page you've looked at and you can see there I do that quite a bit that's the YouTube video and the kind of home screen with the tabs popping up when you're zooming now that has got to be a bug um, in IE but it's not slow by any means it's just that transitional period where you've got the flashback of what you've looked at before but you can see I mean it views quite nice when it's zoomed in you can only zoom on our forum to a certain amount once you get um, you know bigger than the screen can handle you, you can actually move it left and right uh, that's a bit little bit buggy as well because obviously I'm doing it right now and it's not I mean that's worked but that hasn't so it's a bit hit and miss with that so I'm just going to shrink it down a bit Okay, so that's that's a bit too small. Let's go a bit bigger. See, that's not bad. That's quite a good viewing size for that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, there you go. I mean, we've we've had YouTube, um, we've had normal websites, and uh, the forum. That's it, really. That's uh, IE9. If you can think of anything else that you want demonstrated, do let me know, PM me, or uh, just send me an email. You can get my email from my website. Um, but yeah, if you want to see any anything else demonstrated in IE9 or any other application, let me know.